There we go. Welcome back to this character versus this character. The very intense show where we take two characters from separate universes and they fight against each other to decide who would win in a fight. Who is fighting today? Today we have Yuji Itadori versus Rock Lee. So we got two characters here. <clears throat> I think this is a very common uh, common occurrence mm -hmm. here with our fights is a lot of extreme speed with a lot of power versus extreme power with a lot of speed. It's kind of what we're looking at here. So we're getting down to the logistics here. We're looking at um, current anime, Yuji. Mm -hmm. um, so not manga stuff because we'll get all kinds of wild stuff there. And we're yes. going to take pre shupudin or pre time skip uh rock lee here so base yes. naruto rock lee because here's our he... here's our rules yeah. first off no sukuna no sukuna no 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 too bro too broken second off this is going to take place in an old school gymnasium where the tuning exams happened. I mean, we don't have to do that. But uh, no, 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 I'm thinking like just that. like like a basketball. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> I, don't know, I just think it'd be funny. No, no gates for Rock Lee. We want this to be kind of. I know it's weird to balance it because if we uh, if we gave Lee the gates and didn't, it, you know, he would probably win pretty easily. And then if we give Sukuna to Yuji, then he it probably wins easily. Close. So we're just this is probably this is the best way for us yeah. to balance it. So Lee still has like his all of his moves and, and stuff. It's just not the gates. But all right. I think this is an interesting matchup because it's kind of the um the the trend I guess that's been floating around talent versus hard work in anime. It's kind of what this is. Um to an extent, yeah. I would say, but um, that's, uh, that's that's pretty true. Because kind of like UG, I mean, UG didn't like like really ask the power he had. He just kind of just it. he kind of has it, and so he's like Lee, kind of trying to learn how to use it. But Rock Lee did not have that power. Yeah, he legit he had, had to, nothing. He had to work from the ground up to get himself to where he was. Mm -hmm. So you could look at it like that too. But anyways, I think let's get into it. So I think the first thing this fight we have to establish in this fight. Probably the biggest factor, or one of the biggest factors, is Rock Lee is a lot faster than Yuji. Yes. Yuji's not a slow character, but if we're going based off of you know uh, Naruto or base Naruto, uh, Rock Lee, when he takes off the weights against Gara, he moved. I don't know if it's, I don't know what exactly the speed is, but Gara's shield, uh, she, nobody could really get past Gara's shield, sand. Um, and he was able to break through and get some hits in. So Rock Lee's insanely fast. He will blitz Yuji a lot. Yeah, he can totally blitz Yuji, um, which is going to be pretty pretty hard because I looked it up. Uh, I was looking at it earlier. Um, Yuji can run like like forty miles an hour. Um, so he's like fast, but uh, as compared to you know what Rock Lee does, like nothing. I mean, like. Very few anime moments come close to Rock Lee dropping the weights during the shooting. It's so, exams. so sick. One of the coolest things ever because people it's are so like, cool. oh, you know, there's like normal weights and then it's so sick. Cool. And then he just and then he get, hits the ground and he goes Dude, fast because you, you have to believe it to this point, even to like higher ups in uh, Naruto, like Jonin's and uh, Chunings, which are just the higher ranks. Garb was probably going to beat a lot of those type of characters. He was one of the strongest, if not the strongest character you've seen to that up to that point in the show. And mm -hmm. here comes Rock Lee and he can not speed blitz him, but he can, can he can, in, they caught it in his in, impenetrable fortress or whatever. So he could break through that as a really good representation to show his speed. There's other examples throughout uh, OG Naruto too, but that's the best representation of it. I mean, like when I think about, when I think about Yuji's character, like, I mean, it, he doesn't do a lot of blitzing as much as he just like just he just runs it. fast. He just kind of like runs like fast. Yeah. Um, next thing I want to bring up though for uh, Yuji is he tanks everything that hits him like it doesn't hit him. He'll get hit with like the most ridiculous hit and he won't even react to it. Like he'll get stabbed yeah. like eight times and he'll just stand there like nothing happened and keep fighting. Mm -hmm. um so there's like a big mental state that comes along with that 
um, and the ability to you know tank those hits, which there's going to be a lot of hits here. He's going to need to tank, but uh, I, there's no doubt yeah. in my mind that he'll be able to uh, be able to tank those hits from Rock Lee here. I think it's like the big thing is like Rock Lee's like the perfect character to go up against Yuji because he he doesn't give up no matter what. There's a scene mm-hmm. in in the same fight with Gara is when Gara beats him in the fight. He is like unconscious, but he stands back up and he's ready to fight, even yeah. though he's unconscious. So like, if there's a character that to represent it, um, it would be Rock Lee. But I think the next thing I want to take is just Rock Lee just being a, a better fighter in general. I say this a lot when we talk about. I guess this is our second time talking about a Naruto. He's a more trained fighter. But um, yeah, a lot, a lot of Naruto characters are. But I think it's it's doubly so with Rock Lee because I mean, he doesn't have anything else. He, he doesn't have ju- like, he doesn't have jitsu to fall back. He doesn't on. have jujitsu. He doesn't have you know he doesn't have any sort of eyes or anything like that. He just throws hands, and he can you know a lot of his moves, um, like both the lotuses, the leaf hurricane, leaf gale, um, the leaf uh, whirlwind. It's stuff like that. It's diverse move sets that he can use in a fight, especially in a fight like this where it's not. There's like no hacks in this fight. He can use it to like, you know, do different type of maneuvers and you know throw off UG a little bit. He's gonna have to like think about it. Like he's just gonna have to take a. He's gonna have to do like a lot of combos, get continuous hits after you know hit after hit after hit to try to wear down UG. That's kind of the case that he's gonna yeah. have to do to win this fight. Here's what I'm I'm sitting at right now with uh, one of one of UG's strength is obviously power here. He can mm-hmm. definitely pack a lot more into one hit between, you know, his delayed cursed punches and uh, having Black Flash. And mm-hmm. uh, I think one of the other things, like, I mean, obviously Black Flash is good, but he also is able to control his Black Flash more than almost any other character where, yeah. I mean, he can he can land consecutive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he was it was it he matched or beat the record of most consecutive I um, thought I thought he mat matched I it. Think he matched it, but yeah. but even then, you know, if if he can if he can stun, uh, if he can stun Rockley with a black flash, yeah, like he's getting it. I think when I'm kind of thinking about this, I'm thinking about the fight in uh, Shibuya when Mahito's kind of like jumping, running all around him, mm-hmm. and then uh, you know he was able to find his opening to hit the first black flash there and then as soon as he hit that i mean he was tanking hits all the way up to it i mean his face is cut open all the way up the sides and then uh so he's able to hit that black flash and from there he just kind of starts ripping on him and we Mm -hmm. get the whole imu scene which is sick and it's uh kind of all put together so if he can land that black flash at a good time and be able to stun rockley i think that's where he could start really hamming him um yeah I think I think Rock Lee has he, he doesn't have anything nearly as much like to that packs as much of a punch as Black Flash does. I mean, probably say out of his the base moves that he has, I would probably say Leaf Hurricane's probably the one that would do the most. Maybe the Lotus, one of the Lotuses, I don't know. Um but like I said, he's just gonna have to wear him down. And um yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the dynamic with this whole fight, and it's a little different from a couple of our other fights. From all the other fights, I would say we've done. I feel like a lot of the time we have like two characters that are pretty equal in like how they fight. Like the Sasuke and Yuta fight is, you know, they're pretty similar in how they fight um, to an extent, at least. And but it's like this one. It's like okay, you have a com- two completely different types of fighters. Fight they fight the it's same. They fight in the same like, way in terms like, of hand to hand. It's but... like guerrilla warfare versus spec ops type stuff yeah. here, dude. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Like, like uh, Yuji's just coming in there to hit hard and hit when mm-hmm. he can. But uh, Rock Lee, I mean, he's going to be a lot more intentional with where he is. Yeah, and what he's doing with his body. Have that um, advantage with the battle IQ, definitely. Yeah, but um, that's I think this fight really comes down to I think it's honestly if you in in these forms it's I think it's like a fifty fifty in the sense where it's where like if Rock Lee can you know stay evasive and you know avoid all the black flashes and other any sort of punch that Yuji throws he'll probably win but if Yuji gets like two three black flashes I don't think Rock Lee's gonna come back from that so Mm -hmm. uh, I think he can tank I think he could tank a couple maybe at most probably three um i don't think any more than that maybe not even three i don't know but it's not a I'd lot say, i'd could... say i'd say like after two he'll be 
he'll be trying to get back up from being unconscious. Yeah, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to think in my mind because his uh, Rock Lee's two big fights were, were in OG Naruto were Gara and then he fought. Uh, you probably don't know him. His name's Kimimaro. Kimimaro. Um, he's got he's got like a bone jutsu. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. It's a dude who pulls the spine, his spine out and uses it as a sword. It's pretty sick. Uh, he didn't really fight against him for very long, and he was also drunk when he did that. That was very funny. Um, but a lot, all both those fights, he had pretty good feats of durability. So I think he that's kind of what gives me like the impression that he could take a couple of those um, black flashes. But I don't think it would be more than three. I think two is probably. I think he could take two, and then if he takes a third one, he'd probably be done. So here's where I would like to open it up to you guys, the viewers. Mm -hmm. Who do you think wins this? When do you think they win this? How do you think they win this? And then an essay. No, don't see, see if other people agree. Um, see if other people disagree. Start mm -hmm. arguments in the comments. That'd be fun. Be so yeah, why not? We'll start arguments. S start arguments <laughs> with us in the comments. We're yeah. fine with that too. This is um, such a 50-50 and you I'm know, gonna, maybe I'm gonna take it 50 50 right now. Uh, um, and if you have any characters you're like, yo, these guys should yeah. fight, like let us know and let we'll know. uh we'll cook it up. Yes. But uh right now I'm seeing it as a 50 50. Um, and I could take it either way. What I really think will sway me is what the comments are saying. I think so too. I feel like there might be a couple, I don't there might be like one or two things I'm forgetting about both characters, but um I think I think we got all the basis stuff out of the way, especially with the limitations we set. So yeah. All right, well, we're going to wrap up this episode of This Character versus This Character, and uh, we're super excited to see you guys in the next episode. Yes.